Okay, let's talk about the GCSE Higher Maths Test. And the GCSE stands for General Certificate of Secondary Education. And uh, it's a very important test that's taken in the UK and other countries. And what we're going to do here is take a look at a maths practice problem that you might encounter on the GCSE Higher Maths. But uh, before we get going, let me introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabit Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher in the United States. So uh, obviously my accent is probably different than what you're used to, but basically math is maths. Okay, it's the same thing. So it's maths in the UK and other countries and math in the US, but the principles are the same. But uh, when you take a look at what's on the GCSE higher uh, maths exam, it's a lot of what we in the United States would be uh, described as high school level math. So a lot of algebra, geometry, and other topics. So um, I've taken a look at uh, the GCSE higher maths uh, really uh, in detail, and I actually offer an excellent prep course for this. I'll leave a link to that in the description of this video. But what I want to do here is just challenge you with a practice problem that you should be able to handle if you expect to do well on the GCSE higher math section. So let's go ahead and take a look at this problem. I'll give you an opportunity to solve it, and of course I'll explain it. But what we're looking at here is the graph of a polynomial. Okay, so I'm going to give you a clue. So it's a polynomial, all right? And this is basically the entire graph, right? So you can see it's doing something here. And what I'd like you to do is uh, give me the equation to this polynomial, okay? Go ahead and write the equation to this polynomial. Uh, again, I'm gonna go through it. So if you think you can handle the problem, go ahead and pause the video and give it a try. And then I'm going to go ahead and solve it now. Okay, so polynomials um, are very unique in um, mathematics and algebra. And they have a lot of great characteristics and you really study them in detail how to solve them. Okay, so it's really at the high school level, high school algebra level. Uh, in, the, in the United States, we really concentrate a lot on polynomials, uh, polynomial functions, etc. So what we're looking at here, okay, is a graph. Now, polynomials have a smooth and continuous graph to them, but I kind of indicated that this, again, was the, uh, an illust uh, illustration of the entire graph of some particular polynomial. So what's going on is what? Well, here you can see it's crossing the x-axis at negative 7, negative 2, and something's going on here at 5. Now, what's going on here at 5? It's bouncing off the x-axis uh, exactly at 5. So uh, because I told you this is the entire graph, right, this is going to continue to go on like so, and this is going to go on like so, we can construct linear factors here to write the equation of this polynomial. Okay, so for example, negative 7 is a solution to this polynomial. So is negative 2. These are real root solutions. And then 5, because it's bouncing off the x-axis, this is a double root. All right, double root. In other words, this root is occurring twice. So we can write these factors like this, x plus 7. This would be x plus 2. And then this would be x minus 5 and another x minus 5. Okay, now if I multiply all these together and set this equal to 0, let's go to do that now, x plus 7 times x plus 2 times x minus 5 times another x minus 5. And I said this was equal to 0, and I asked you to solve this equation and or graph it. Okay, you would set each one of these factors here equal to zero, all right, because this whole thing is uh, equal to zero. And then you can go ahead and just reconstruct the graph, all right? So you want to be able to recognize when you're dealing with polynomials to be able to look at a graph like so, look at what's going on with the roots and the solutions, and then kind of, um, you know, reconstruct a function. Now, one of the things here, well, it's, I didn't mean to be too tricky, but was the graph bouncing off the x-axis here at 5. Okay, a lot of students will say, oh, that's just one single root. Remember, that's a double root. And if a polynomial is bouncing off the x-axis, that's an indication of two roots, not just one. Okay, so just a quick review on polynomials. 
the um, in the uh, U United States, there's a lot of tests that are like the GCSE higher mass, but they're done at the state uh, level. But basically, the same level of mathematics is being tested. Okay, I will have to say I really think it's kind of cool how in the UK and other countries they call it maths. Okay, and uh, people are used to seeing that word that way. And in the United States, we call it math, but it is a pretty neat uh, distinction there. I kind of find it interesting. But anyways, let's wrap up this video. Um, so at the time of this video, I've actually been on YouTube for a good 12 years. 12 years, been posting uh, uh, hundreds and hundreds of math videos, things that could definitely help you prepare for the GCSE if you can kind of get beyond the math versus the maths <laughs> language. But again, it's the same it's the same stuff that's being uh, taught. Algebra, geometry, just because we're separated by an ocean doesn't mean that the concepts are going to change. If you enjoyed the video, definitely appreciate a thumbs up and leave me some feedback. Uh, uh, how do you like mathematics? You know, what country are you in? Uh, what's your plans after uh, school? Are you going to be going off to university? Any feedback would be great feedback. And once more, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to my GCSE mat higher maths uh, prep course uh, in the link. Um, the link will be in the description of this video. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you for your time and have a great day.